How much dirt do I have? Soil, dirt, 87.4 tons. So I'm good on dirt. Hello, depression. <laughs> Read the catch, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that shit was so fun. That was so fun. Let me see. Let's go and build some more. We will eventually solve this problem. Oh, actually, I see we'll cause a problem. Oh, it's starting to melt. Oh, God. Hurry. Hurry. Woo, the ladder. Oh, God, is it really going to melt? Irrigation. Yeah, we don't have the water set up yet. Oh, you know what? We could cool it with the water. Oh, man. We could just run water around this thing. It would totally keep it cold. Oh, God, it's getting... Oh it's, oh, it's starting to cool. It's starting to cool. It's starting to actually cool. Oh, God, it got warm again. <laughs> All right, let's start feeding this thing some water here. Um... We'll just pull this out here. Excuse me while I whip this out. Pipe. Damn. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll do this. And we'll just have this thing run in a loop around this thing. And continue to cool this area. Uh, is that going to work? <laughs> There's no way it's going to work because of this thing. We have to put in a... Uh, we'll put in a... We should probably refeed it, right? Like have it go in a loop and then refeed somehow. What does this connect to? <laughs> God, what a fucking mess. Oh no! Oh god, I have bypass! Trader Max gonna be so upset! <laughs> I spent all this time not paying attention to that. I will come back in a second. Wait, why didn't I set off my alarm? My Natty Gassy alarm didn't go off. This room's still getting colder. Uh, temperature plate at 231. It still is. And we have enough water to keep these things irrigated. Mostly, we still have some issues here uh, with water. As long as they have water in the shitter and everything, we're not freaking out. Bottom row is... Oh, yeah, we don't ir no irrigation. That's right. So let's get that built. Need an ore gate or a natty? Yeah, maybe I do need an ore gate. Okay, here we go. So water's coming through. Feed it, feed it, feed it, feed it. Now, obviously, we're gonna have to move this eventually here, but um, I think for now we we'll just leave it there. It's fine. Probably need to put a uh, bridge to keep this loop going, but I don't know what the hell we're gonna do with this loop. I was just thinking just to have it run in circles. But we need to eject it somehow. I don't really have plans. This is just kind of like a fun little side project here. Like I don't really have plans in order to do this. In order to, uh... uh like I don't want to like necessarily take the biome back over. But it would kind of be fun. Like since we're here, just chilling. Yeah. Jokes. Thing is, I see some things are starting to melt already. Cold damage. Why is it cold damage? I thought this thing was going to take it. Oh, come on. Negative 30 degrees. That's why it's cold damage. But there's so little water, it should be able to expand, right? It just pushes slush out. <gasps> oh, I see. The water is... I see. So what's happening is... Yes, the water is going to... Um, well, it's not going to expand, but... Uh, it is going to... I think if it's at like... If it's moving and less than a thousand grams, I think... Uh, then it's not going to freeze and so it's not going to bust a pipe but if it stops somewhere and it builds up to a thousand grams then it's going to bust a pipe and I can see that every time this thing hits a thousand slow it down a little bit seven let's see six hundred eight hundred and then a thousand we should start to see cold damage cold damage bam right there so yeah so it's a thousand um So we do need to we do need to uh, regulate this temperature a little bit. That's what we should do. Regulate this temperature just a little bit. Twenty two sleeves. Eight hundred cycles of sleet wheat growing. Oh wow. What we'll the we'll have to make some more dirt then. 
we get to a, like a fertilizer to dirt machine or something, I think. Normal speed is so slow. It's so slow. Light speed too slow. Boom. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll actually send this water up and around. Just like I said we were going to do. And that will actually warm it up a little bit. As long as it keeps moving. Then when it comes back around, it'll still be cold enough to feed all these things. Understand? 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 That's that's going to be the uh, solution here. And we'll cut this guy off here. Oh, slow motion. There's a buried object here. It's the uh, pipe that I broke in there. Hips eating arbitrary make dirt. Well, Shag is going to make an arbitrary farm then. All right, here we go. So water's going around. Oh, it's chugging. All right, so it comes out at negative 50 degrees. It'll work its way around. Warming up. It's warming up. Look at that. Already. Already. So as long as it doesn't... It won't get that warm because it's not that warm in here, period. But it will cool this room. It comes in at 26 degrees. Solid. Solid 26 degrees. Boy, that's perfect. Look at that. Simple solution. And it's also going to cool the rest of the uh, the biome, too. In case you want to plant more sleep weed or something. Now, the uh, other issue we're going to run into, or we're running into right now, as you can see, is that we have too much hydrogen in the, in the space. We need some uh, oxygen to keep... Uh, to keep the sleep weed happy. Yeah, simple, exactly. Simple. So they just announced Humble Bundle Games. Humble Bundle expands the partnership with the brilliant indie developers by launching Humble, Humble Games, a dedicated publishing service to deliver the next generation of quality indie games. There we go. That's kind of cool. So we just need water for these guys, and they're getting it. It's going to be very, very slowly. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but I'm not going to expand on this any further. I think this is probably fine. Don't. Don't do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> Don't you fucking melt! I think, I think, yeah, this is actually getting colder. And I think it's because it's, it's, it's leeching some of this off of this guy here. So good. It's gonna work. You have ox oxygen out in space above this biome. I do have a bunch of oxygen up there. That's right. I have all this emergency oxygen here. I, I, I just was gonna save for a rainy day, but this might be the rainy day. Unfortunately, we're still pumping in a ton of hydrogen into the space. And we're using that hydrogen to... to run the machine. Everything here is like all... all... self-contained. Like, we don't have to... I, I set this up so that way we don't have to bother with it. Hydrogen feeds the hydrogen generator. Hydrogen generator charges the battery. The battery runs. The, all the systems, the aqua tuner here, or the... Um, God, what's the aqua tuner? Thermoregulator. Uh, times two. And that feeds into the anti-entropy thermal blah, 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 blah. So... Let's check on our, uh... Our boys in fur over here. God damn, you guys following the rules? They totally did. Ugh. Jerks. Okay. I could seal that area off, you know? And put some sleep... I mean, it's not a lot of space, you know? So we don't really need a lot of... Hang a pufflet. Uh, so we don't really need a ton of... Oxygen to fill this space. I always need to seal it. <laughs> I told Deca that rules are rules. <laughs> God, I know. <sighs> uh, let's, let's do this. Let's... Destroy these. And then what we'll do is we'll seal this off. Put like a, you know, just, I don't know, brick here or something. Do that right here. And then... That way those go around the other side to get in there and we'll put a door or something or something. God, this whole this all this shit. Urgh, there's so much crap here. <sighs> Buildings, get rid of them. I gotta redo this. This sucks so bad. This whole thing this is just a cluster. Just a cluster. Look at this nonsense. 
fuck? So many half projects in here. <laughs> okay, so this area is sealed. Um, what we'll do is I will put a vent. Oh, there's oxygen right here. Hold on, where's the oxygen going? Bitch, there's oxygen right here. I'm just gonna pump it right out of here. We'll just use a uh, gas vent. Let me see, what is it here? It's. Oh, well, I guess we can't use a gas vent because it's pretty. Like, it's pretty dense. So. We'll have to use a high pressure gas vent. This, I didn't realize how dense this, dense this was. This is dense. I get mad. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But it's not me. It's not me. It's yesterday me. Like, that's that's the problem is that yesterday me is doing all this stuff. Each day I get wiser. Always this loot. I know, I know. That's what, that's what it's going to come down to. Each day I get wiser. Yesterday me was dumb. Today me. Got a shit together. All right. Dump this out. Pass my cost this. That fucking guy. What about tomorrow me? I feel like tomorrow me can handle some of this stuff that I can't handle today. You know? Because he's smarter. You know? He's, he's gonna be older, wiser. You know? So tomorrow me could definitely handle some of this stuff. He'll be able to figure it out. Uh oh. How do we have water build up here? It's 26 degrees, dude. Come on. How much closer do I need to get to 30? Before you stop giving me a hard time. Oh my god. It's still not warm enough. Oh no! It's still not warm enough! <sighs> um... Radiant pipe. He might get sidetracked like I've been. <laughs> I know, I, I've dedicated myself to making sure we get uh, adequate um, food. Like decent food. Increase flow rate, but no, but no, if I increase flow rate, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, uh, like, this thing doesn't really put out that much, like, cool air, like, cool, you know, energy, uh, at a rate that's so slow that it would just, like, any more water, I, as a matter of fact, it's probably already losing temperature here. Yeah, it, it is actually technically getting warmer, based off the liquid we're putting through, so what we need to do is actually transfer some of that energy up here instead. So I'll just do it up here away. We'll just do like a couple pieces of this. Because up here it's a little bit warmer. Just a smidge warmer. Right? What is it? Uh, 33 degrees, 33 degrees, oxygen 33 degrees. So yeah, this might be better. <laughs> Future Mike says yes. Future Mike would say something like that. Yeah, we'll have him, we'll have them uh, put a couple radiant pipes up here. And that will at the very least get it hopefully close to 30 degrees. Uh, shove vault. I, I'm I, I'm still like I'm still a noob when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, ranching. So yeah, don't be surprised if I didn't set up some kind of ranch or something like that that gives me infinite whatever. Like I just don't I just don't have the answer for that. So we see it goes in at 32, comes out at 37. Okay, cool. So this will help. It's still pretty cold down here, <laughs> but as long as it stays above 32, then we should stop seeing this problem. And as soon as this, gets, this gets built, what's the deal with this? Oh, it's waiting for iron. I wonder if that's a problem. Well, Don is just working on it, right? Killing demons coming. Is this stuff still maintaining? It's maintaining. Just shove them in a room. Infinite foods as they poop out an egg before starving to death. Damn. He said, I made a G today, but you made it in a sleazy way. That's right. Let me see. Shoving out that nice cold air, 36 degrees. There we go. Make a nice little cushion. You can see it pushing. It's pushing it right out. Uh, and then once we get this thing, uh, oh, I, they might get upset about the uh, air pressure, I wonder. Oh, that was a 10,000. Oh, they don't give a shit. <laughs> Look at a damn air pressure. Make dupe roll around in the plants outside of the soup. All that body heat, just that jog in place. He's picking up ice. Oh, from all this water. Oh, this water is freezing down here. Oh, you guys. Oh my god. Looks like it's working. 
we see it, yeah, we just need to basically push out. I put it in this corner specifically so we can push it out this direction, and then we'll try to seal it up or something. Or something. Slowly but surely. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know what I'm saying? It just needs to, just needs these guys to not be upset about it. Like atmosphere, yeah, atmosphere issues. Nobody goes through that door. How's this thing doing? That is 65.9. So it'll take a good while to, to warm up, but still, we gotta be careful. We pump any too much water through there. It took forever just to get it this cold, first of all. Okay, so we'll leave that alone for now. I think these guys are, I mean, useless now, so we'll open things up. They'll come through, they'll pick up all that sleet wheat. They'll also sweep this up, which is great. Then, uh, it will leave the rest alone. It's a nice little experiment. Let me see. Natural gas, we should, this needs to be kicking on in a second, right? Oh, six, six point two cycles. I guess we pause it for a little bit longer than I expected there. Yeah. We haven't done anything with all this down here. But they're all working, they're all doing stuff, looks like. Right? Is that what that means? Yeah, liquid is moving. Okay, good. So as long as liquid's moving, it should be moving because of these. Do we need plastic? I have nine tons of plastic. Maybe we should just to burn through some petroleum. Petroleum, use water. Oh god, that's right, water! I knew there was something, I was like, god, there's something else. Oh, here it is! Okay, so the water's backed up again. <laughs> Same problem as before! Okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not backed up technically, but it's going to get backed up. Oh, you know what? We're feeding it through here, so this actually is helping some. I wonder if we've... Is that gonna be enough? Well, either way, we should turn this on. Make more plastic. These slicksters down here. I am doing nothing with these guys, but I guess they're just gonna keep doing their thing. What the... What the fuck? Oh, it's over... It's overflowing over here. Oh, damn. Wow. The amount of feeding is small, it is, but as long as it's more than what they are uh, pissing and shitting out, that's what matters. As long as it's more than that, we're good. So we got this area clear now. Uh, there's no more oxygen in the, in the line. Where's that line? Oxygen? I don't even know where the oxygen was coming from. The stuff that's stuck. Oh, the good news is, yeah, I could very quickly get oxygen out of here if I wanted to. Just swap all this oxygen for all this um, oxygen in these pipes for hydrogen. If I get infinite supply of hydrogen in here, just in general, you know, all this out here that will never lose temperature. Hmm. How easy would that be? A valve. Not not hard at all, actually. Just uh, just a valve in a in a. Gas element sensor. Just keep get the pump going and just get it uh, to dump everything in. There's plenty of hydrogen in the line to run those systems for a minute, so we could get all the hydrogen out of this space. Then we could just put a filter here, because we're still feeding hydrogen from where? Oh, from the oh yeah, from up here. Yeah, and like some of this is not necessarily needed. Yeah, it's just kicking out every once in a while. Anytime it senses hydrogen, we could just turn this thing off temporarily. Let me see, atmospheric sensor, 100. Oh yeah, dude, let's make this like 2,000. There we go. That'll never turn on now. So let's see. Yeah, let's 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 swap it out because the oxygen is gonna be more useful in here anyways. If we're gonna expand the farm and all that stuff, and keeping all this hydrogen contained somewhere would be nice. Although I don't know if this this is a lot of hydrogen. I don't think that that's <laughs> this is not gonna be enough uh, for this. But at the very least, we can get all this oxygen out and into this space. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Cogni? Yeah, let's do it. Let's build a, let me see, ventilation, so gas pipe element sensor, so we'll put that here. And then we're going to put a gas shut off, and we'll put that here. And then... Oh wait, no, we should... We should build like a filter, actually. So not this setup, we should build it like a filter. Just let it... Continue to cycle, but then where would it go if it wasn't the right stuff? There is no... The input's way up here. No, that's the output. 
The input. Oh, this is the input. Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, so it's actually reversed, which makes this a little bit weirder, but not. I mean, let me see. Let me see. Put it here. Put these here just to seal this up. This also gives us room if we want to run a pipe that basically build this, build what I was just talking about, but have it come in this way and attach to this, maybe. That's the exit pipe, but that comes from the top. Maybe we can build it with this, actually. Easy if it's a hydrogen dumping, cut a hole, and vent to space. Never mind the side effects it would cause. That's tomorrow, Mike's problem. Uh, make the hydrogen into a liquid, fit it into cool liquid storages. Uh, how, how cold do you have to chill it in order to make that happen? I, I have no idea. I, I, have, I have not converted any gases into liquids. Like, I haven't made liquid O2 or, or liquid oxygen, sorry, uh, or uh, uh, liquid hydrogen. Like, I have not made any of that stuff. Okay, the fact that they left this open, it kind of pisses me off. Very cold, yeah. Yeah, so I don't even know where to begin on that yet. Running it through a bunch of uh, thermo sh machines and shit. Negative 52, pff, what? I have turned steam into water, but that doesn't count. That's easy. There's a bit of sar sarcasm. Oh, okay, good. So, <laughs> okay, okay, good. Get out of here. This area is clean, though. This irrigation is going to be a problem for these guys. But that should work itself out here once these things start divvying up a bit more. So they'll be that'll be fine eventually. Oh, hey! Thank you, buddy! What was that for? Just because? Oh, because of Attack on Titan. Oh, okay. I thought you... Okay, well, I love you, too! Oh. Talking to me about Colossal Titans. Okay, so this stuff is going over here. New printables available. Let's grab this stuff. Let me see. A Volpup. I'm not going to do that thing yet. Iron. Remember, hydrogen is found naturally in the molecule. H2 forms. It exists as a liquid. H2 must be cooled below its critical point of 33K. Uh, however, for it to be fully liquid state without boiling at atmospheric pressure, H2 is cooled. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, Dad, I love you, and here's what I want. Yes, it's exactly what it was. I'll take it. It's fine. I'll take it. Okay, so back to this. Back to this thing. I mean, I, get, I see an easier setup here. Instead of trying to make it complicated with all this other shit. Yeah, shut off. I don't know where I would... Eject it after the fact, though. Which I guess is something that we could just... Deal with later. So we could actually put it right here, right? So we'll go like this. Oh, right here, actually. And then what we'll do is we'll just tell it, whenever you see oxygen, just dump it, right? And then... Let me see... Trauma sensor... And then if it gets uh, hydrogen, then it'll just bypass. I and mean, that's gonna go where? That's gonna go to, and this isn't going anywhere. Yeah, so you know what? That could just, I guess it could just go right back into the system and go back down and then get filtered and come back again. I don't know, we'll see. But we'll start with this here. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, it needs power, doesn't it? Oops, shit. Fuck. Oh my Christ. Oh my God. Okay, so we're not gonna put it there. <laughs> God damn it! Where do I put this thing? Oh, you know we will do. We will do. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I got, it, I got, it, I got. It. <laughs> uh, the answer is obvious. Let me see. There's plenty of power over here. We can just build it over here. Super long turnaround on this. So you want the gas pipe sensor to be here, and then with the uh, gas shut off, that's gonna be here, and then, uh, and then we'll run power there. That's easy. We got power relatively close by. Not to bother any of the local wildlife or anything. They won't even they won't even notice that it's there. Look at that. Pretty good. Set it to oxygen. Oxygen bypass. Oxygen bypass goes into the high pressure vent inside of the room. That pushes itself. That pushes the Oh! Oh! 
Push the what? Oh, hey! Just dump it! <laughs> also, been getting drunk to negative pH tonight. When's the next trap drop? Oh, man. Oh, that's the hardest question, man. It really is. When is the next track drop? God damn. I, I, I've just not, I've just not been, you know, it's, it's this fucking quarantine, man. Like, I, every moment that I'm in this room, I'm working on something. And music is just such a huge thing to get back into, because I have to like, you know, I've, it's been, it's been like a, a not a year, it's been like probably six months. Uh, and so it's like, I gotta get back into it, like, listen to the tracks again, go back, kind of figure out what I did, kind of oxygen clue when you know, when you get in, you start looking at all the different things you did, try to figure out what yesterday me did. Well, imagine if yesterday me wasn't two weeks ago me, but it was six months ago me. With a, with, with a system that's probably infinitely more complicated, really. Um, and so, yeah, it's, 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 it's hard to, like, dedicate time to relearning and, and going back and doing that. I want to, man. I do. I, I definitely foresee once... Once things go back to, and by the way, I recognize that there's no normal anymore. But once, once we get back to, I'm not Declan's teacher for four or five hours out of every morning, which is what's happening now. Um, then I'll have a significant amount of time extra per week, 25 hours of, uh, of extra time per week. Um, not exactly, because I'll probably relax more at night if I, if I could work more in the morning. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like when I'm in here at night, like sure, I'm fucking smoking a joint or something, but I'm also working my ass off on stuff just to, you know, try to stay some kind of productive. So it's like photo shoots or, you know, video shit or whatever. Like it's a lot of stuff, man. Just five minutes, no problem. I know some of the songs are so close, but man, they're not perfect. And that's, <laughs> fuck, they're just not, they're not release ready. That's what I'll say. How's that thing? How's that thing going? Hold on. Did they finish it? They did. Oh, there's no. Oh, uh, what? Oh, what? What? Oh, I didn't run the automation wire. So that that's gonna go back and it's gonna eject all of that out here. So we have oxygen coming through here, and then we gotta refeed this with hydrogen. So what we'll do is we'll patch this in. Uh, yeah, that's not hard. We'll just basically patch this guy into this one here. And then that'll just basically pump hydrogen out. The line is full of hydrogen now. Let's just pump it full of oxygen first and we'll see what happens. We'll have another movie night for that. Come on! <laughs> Even movie nights, man! What is this? Uh, should I recognize you from the old show I love from years ago? What was it called again? The Factory Fall. Oh, lucid. Oh, man. Funny guy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Fucking Factory Floor. Oh, man. Whatever happened to Cena Anners? Is he still doing anything or did he retire? Whoops. I don't want to do all that. Let's see Cena Anners. See, um, well, it looks like what 2018? What is his last video? That's his gaming channel. I don't know if that really. Max, can you pretend like you're Morgan? Seven years ago. Okay, well, that's been a minute. <laughs> Are you like that movie night? Would be nice to get another one uh, before I have to go back to work. I know, I know. How funny, how funny. It's like, guys, I have like no time anymore to do anything. Hey, can you, can you do this thing? Write it down. I do like the movie nights though. That's kind of nice. This is a nice little break. Nice little break from stuff. All right, this should be. Oh, you can see it's very clearly ejecting lots of uh, lots of nice ice cold uh, oxygen in the room. These things should be just jam packed with with cold oxygen. Yeah, 32 degrees. So it's all gonna come bleeding out, and then it's gonna turn out come back, which is nice. It actually, empties out all these uh, pipes that we're not using for anything. Ooh, why is that actually getting full? 1200. Oh, okay, it was temporary. We should see no overpressure of any of these pipes, by the way. That's a problem. Or any of those uh, vents. That, that would mean there's a problem somewhere. So all this hydrogen is going to get crammed up under the top here. Super good. Lots of hydrogen in the line, so that'll be running for a minute. 
Did this actually, did we actually solve our water problem? By creating, by opening that back up? It looks like we did. Are we making plastic too? We are. It's crazy. And that'll eat up some of the... Okay. There's water there ready to go. We have a lot of oil. Uh, are you planning on Darnell Returns to Doom Eternal? Oh, man. Uh, probably not, honestly. Yeah, probably not Doom Eternal. If, if Darnell returns to anything, it's gonna be like VR chat or something like that. Like, that was- VR chat was a perfect medium for him. Like, God, like, there's, there's nothing better than- than just going in there and just being the- you know, Darnell just being himself, basically. Like, that was just so good. Overheat damage. Oh, it's made out of steel. Let's see. What is it? Uh, 504, 550 degrees and it's overheat damage? Come on, man. What is molten? Molten Jesus. This, 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 this experiment here <laughs> was, uh, not a failure. Not a failure, but didn't really work out. So, uh, we'll just turn that off and instead what we'll do is Whenever there's a block here and this thing needs to turn on, they'll come over the pedal for two seconds, it'll zap zap, and they'll be done. And that's it. Easy. Ooh, what? Oh, that was weird. They were all... They all had issues just two seconds ago. Hmm. Yeah, Darnell and VR was, uh, was super good. That was some... To, for me, personally, that was, that was like peak Darnell. Like, just, just be himself. The thing is, like, people had asked if I, if, if I could stream that, right? Or if Darnell could stream that. And the problem with, um, with, with that is there's a lot of dead time, you know? So it's like, when you watch one episode of, like, you know, 30 minutes or, you know, uh, five minutes of Darnell, you know, in VR chat, like, that's about, like, two hours, you know? I just successfully found a way that didn't... <laughs> I like that, Draven. I like that a lot. Uh, Chinatown breaks breaks the illusion. That's right. Yeah, it does break the illusion. It does. How much... Uh, <laughs> fucking hydrogen bomb over here. Actually, it's going to start pushing in over here, which is actually pretty good. This gives us a lot of leeway here. Just pump it all into here. <laughs> Just eject that problem all the way up. Of course, it can't get by. Yeah, as long as it's pumping, which it's, it's going to stop eventually here. Yeah, it's going to run out, so it'll stop. Then we'll have this huge pillow of oxygen here, which is gonna be nice. And then eventually it'll 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 even itself out. I should get a puff and throw it in here, actually. It's kind of pain in the ass. Greetings. I thought Darnell's uh, one stream was still pretty good, though. I hated it, man. <laughs> I ha I hated it because it, he's it's such a better character in in edited form that doing it. Um, Doing it live, it's just so much dead space. There's just so much dead air, you know? So yeah, it's just tough. This is not enough water to feed all these things, by the way. I'm sure you guys have noticed. But at the same time, we're killing this thing. It's a negative 252 now. Huh, man. What if we put a whole bunch of ice backing plates in here? I wonder if that would help mitigate this issue that we're having here, you know? Slow start by the end, it was cracking up. Yeah, there was a couple characters that showed up that made the thing kind of nice. Like, a couple people that were being dicks or whatever, and uh, that really helped add to the whole to the whole experience. I really appreciated those random people just coming by and being dickheads. Darn out always something witty to say, and then it's edited to only the witty bits! That's right! Okay, so we'll build that. What is that? Uh, granite? Oh, sure. I think, I think, yeah. Let's put some, let's put some, uh... Thermal backing plates here. Temp shift plates out of ice. There we go. Oh! <laughs> He's actually getting it done without breaking that last box there. Uh, do you know how deep your voice has gotten over the years? Going back to your old stuff sounds like 13-year-old Mike. It's the EQ. It's, uh, I, I've done it before. It's, it's the EQ. And, um, the old microphone setup that I had did not quite have the range. This is a much better microphone than the one I had before. I mean, the other mic is fantastic, but, like, it's, that was a shotgun directional mic, so it doesn't really pick up all the, uh, um, the lows. This mic 
does. <laughs> so this might, and even on this one, I have it rolled off a little bit. But yeah, if I eliminate all the lows, like I've done it before, it sounds um, about the same. But yeah, I yell a lot less too. Like when I do, when I was doing shows and BFF report, like that was just basically like yelling, 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 which is a lot of fun, of course. Temp shift plate. Oh, look at it. It does provide a bit of a buffer. Uh, this is a Rode NT1A. Rode NT1A XLR microphone. It's really old. It's like 20 years old, actually. Yes. Yeah, it's about 20 years old. It was one of my first, uh, yeah, it's one of my first, actually my first mic. guy right here this is a god what is is wrapped in tape so we see this tape aged so much so that's turned into dust just about it's unwrapped on unboxing stream had this, <laughs> this first mic within arm's reach it just happened to be that I have a box of stuff that I don't know what to do with it's like old microphones and and all kinds of like like small like doodads and whatnot but it's a sure something. It's SM58, no, 57, I think. Uh, oh no, it's a sure 8800. Yeah, it's a sure 8800. That was my first one. <sighs> Pretty good little mic. I recorded, uh, I actually recorded a few songs with this. Um, not me singing, of course, but just like other people singing. And then I, then I realized, I was like, you know, I feel like I could get more, better sound quality, but get a better mic because I invested hey. into this thing. And I'm getting this. Cookies! Uh, there is one show you could bring back, what would it be? My own shows. Oh, man. I mean, oh, fuck. Oh, man, it's tough. You know, I would say maybe not Willa Donkey necessarily, although that was a good one. I would say maybe Tets because I really enjoyed making Tets because there was so much creativity and you're just like, like th that people, you know, that, that people have put out with like all these different tracks. And so, yeah, that was, that's probably where I would go is just go the, uh, go that route. Like Tets. Um, 15 Mog, I really liked doing 15 Mog for the short period I did it because it was like this cool, Mystery Science Theater 3000 kind of look with the green screen and the, the black silhouette on top of everything. I thought that was awesome. I really liked doing that. And the green chin hawk, you know? That was super good. Um, that was just a logistical nightmare to make happen because it was so many layers of stuff. And I was doing this, like, this was something that nobody was doing. Uh-oh, uh overheat damage. Uh-oh, it's getting warm down there. Because what? Because it's a fucking vacuum. Damn it. Well, uh, how about none? How about we just close this door? Let's get in there, close this damn door. Let's open this one up, get some oxygen in there. Come down here, we'll disconnect this guy. Something, let me see. I don't even know what to do. Let's go to, we'll just kill that, there we go. And we'll lock the damn door, stupid. Open this shit up. Yeah, these machines are gonna overheat because there's no there's no gas to transfer to, so yeah, it's gonna be a problem. I let this machine open and now it's uh, no time constraints or anything. No time constraints too, boy. Yeah, if I had unlimited time, I mean Ted Ted's is still up there, you know, like Ted's is still up there. I mean, man, fucking Blizz Blues, like. Maybe, yeah, maybe Blizz Blues. That's a, you know, that's also a hard one too, because that would require playing a lot of WoW. So that's like the ultimate time sink, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's tough. Did they build the? Oh, they took those things down. Okay, they build another one here. I think these temp shift plates might actually keep this in check to a certain degree. Audio Technica at twenty twenty. Is that the eighteen twenty twenty? That's the uh, that the year. <laughs> I haven't heard of that one, but I'm interested in hearing the sound though. I actually wonder if this mic still works. I'm sure it does. I, I would plug it in, but then it would explode your guys' ears. 
Trials Gold was the best Trials, though. Trials Evolution, man. I mean, Trials Fusion was pretty good, too. It's just the donkey in Evolution was so good. Trials Rising just killed me with the do all this shit to unlock stuff. And I just, I was just like, man, what? Like, just give me, just give me the tracks. <laughs> like, it should just be a sandbox of tracks. Not do the same track 15 times, unlock, you know, one more track. Ken's LinkedIn seems like a smart man. Hmm. Oh yeah, no, okay, yeah, this is a saw. I've seen, I've seen people use this mic before. That mic, that audio, so the AT2020, yeah, I've seen this before. Um, that's gonna give you a, a relatively similar result as what I'm using here. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be quite as full, but, uh, it doesn't matter, like, side by side these things, but, um, but yeah, that's, that's a good mic. I think you'll like it. Okay, so this area is gonna stop. Yeah, it'll, it'll stop getting too high here, I think. This thing is just pumping, pumping all that hydrogen out. It's gonna take it 10 years to go through this mess. Okay, so this is empty. We could start pumping some of that in here and storing it, but let's wait. Let's wait. But anyways, yeah, so going back to like the, my voice thing, it's, uh oh. It should, it should take, why is it, why is it doing that? It should take me to the problem. Um, it's, it's just the, it's just the, the fullness of the mic itself. Uh, I still personally, I feel like it's a little too bassy for me. Um, I don't think there's anything else I could do. Like the EQ is pretty much slammed on one side. It's not a very powerful EQ, unfortunately. How am I riding? How am I riding that? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh god, the pipes are breaking because they're freezing, isn't it? Fuck. All these pipes are breaking because the water's too damn cold. Twenty by by like by like a couple degrees, and that's that's the thing that's like oh, it's triggering me a little bit. Uh, just a couple degrees, and it's too too cold. I guess, I guess, I mean, so the, there's the balance, right? It's like, do we put warmer water, or, or more water through this thing and then just continue to kill it? This is why I'm reinforcing this, by the way. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that I could just increase this flow here, which would uh, in turn warm this up. You know what? Let's just increase it. Let's just see what happens. Let's make it 400. We'll double it. Okay, there it goes. So now the water is coming at 140 something instead of coming out at, uh, what was it coming out at? 20 degrees, something like that. Now it's coming out at 70. So, so now it's going to be too fucking hot for the rest of the, uh, for the rest of this biome here. So I might have to hook this thing up here. Yeah, this is such a mess. This is such a mess. I, I, I need like eight hours to fix all this stuff. This is not enough time. Um, this is jank, but this will at least stop it from melting the rest of the base here. Seventy degree water. This thing is... Negative seventy one degree. Wow, it's already heated up so much because... Uh, mainly because I pushed... Um... Do I want to push that out? Cram it full of extra hydrogen? I guess that's not a bad idea. Continue cramming this room full of hydrogen. There's oxygen in here though. Oh, there's only one block of oxygen. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap! This hydrogen is dense! Dense! <laughs> 